the city Guwahati wakes up as like as other metropolitans do and gets ready to enter its busy day. But the city has another face that makes it unique from any other fast growing cities, its rich urban biodiversity. Possibly, this is the only metropolitan having 18 hills, 12 reserve forests, two wildlife sanctuaries, and a Ramsar site within its close vicinity. Including the mesmerizing Dipobil, good number of wetlands in the city are functioning as a nature's kidney, regulate water flow, filter sediments, and maintains nutrient recycling. The city is the home to notable invertebrates, lower vertebrates, more than 200 avian fauna, together with resident and migratory birds, and more than 40 species of mammals, including IUCN threatened species, western hollow gibbon, common leopard, greater adjutant stock, gangetic dolphin, and Asiatic elephants. It is very important in biodiversity point of view because this is, comes under Indo Burma hotspot. The mighty Brahmaputra flows through the city, provides water supply to the town populace and holds numerous aquatic biodiversity. Only at a distance of a stone's throw from the city shore, the smallest inhabiting river island is situated. Besides Homo sapiens, one can also see their relatives Golden Lingur on this Picket Island. Guwahati, the ancient Pragyotishpur, experienced a drastic change and rapid urbanization, especially after shift of the state capital from Shillong to Guwahati, and transformed into the gateway to the entire Northeast India. In the leap of modernization, Guwahati has become the center place for business, tourism, health and educational facilities. Along with a huge influx of people to the city, in search of better livelihood option and city expansion, the urban biodiversity has been facing serious threat and moving to a point of no return. Human-animal conflict, elephant death by trained heat, making frequent news. Urban biodiversity is a testing point for the educated people, what they, whether they love state, love the country or not. Every species loves to flourish in this beautiful earth. Maybe because of that, a long-legged stalk finds the meaning of life on what we dumped as waste. Conservation of urban biodiversity always is a double-edged short due to apocalyptic nature of any rising city. Guwahati for specific, in one hand, blessed with rich and endemic biodiversity and in other, with high risk of quick loss of these biological assets. Every cloud has a silver lining. In the run of survival strategies, few species have adapted well in the urban life. The city temples are acting as a safe ground for many urban wildlife, including birds, macaques and turtles. People's association with nature is a rule in this region. Guwahati, being the first and only city in India having its own city animal, justified the statement. Undoubtedly, we do not want to see a barren Guwahati without a bird's call, a pale spring, and nothing other than cacophony of city traffic. What can be more delightful than to see our future generation get the opportunity to stretch their limb under an open sky and inhales a fresh air in this urban paradise? <laughs>